hallelujah god says your change of status has already been approved hallelujah god says your change of status has already been approved now how do you see it manifesting in your life what do you need to do to see this change of status manifesting in your life tangibly and physically that is why we are having this session please stay connected you're welcome in the name of jesus god bless you whether you're joining us for the first time or your family i love you so much i'm always excited to bring the word of god to us and i pray that as you receive this word every transformation that god has done in your spirit concerning your life will begin to manifest physically and tangibly for men to see and celebrate in the name of jesus amen the Lord says your change of status has already been approved, but you do not see it yet. I need you to understand that everything small becomes big in the hands of God. Everything small becomes big in the hands of God. The Bible tells us in the book of Mark chapter 6 that Jesus was out there ministering to the people. They had been with him for long and the disciples saw that the people were hungry. And so they came to Jesus asking for permission to let the people go so that they can find something to eat because they did not have enough to feed the crowd that have followed them. Now, Jesus says, it is not right for us to let these people go hungry. Let us feed them. Let us be hospitable to them. Let us feed them. And he asked the disciples, what do you have? And they tell Jesus, we have only five loaves of bread and two fish. And he says, bring it to me. They gave it to Jesus. Verse 41 tells us that Jesus lived lifted it up he gave thanks and then he break it and gave to the disciples and commanded them to go around and share to the hungry crowd when jesus gave back the bread and fish to the disciples it was still five loaves of bread and two fish okay it was still the same condition that they were in lord we gave it to you i am expecting that when you give it back to me you should already have done the miracle but why does it look like you are giving it back to me the same situation the same condition you are going through things in your life and they tell you hand it over to God and then you give it to God and it looks like God is giving the same situation back to you it looks like God is giving the same problem back to you it looks like God has left your life in the same condition but I want you to understand that the moment you hand it over to God it never comes back the same even when it looks like your life is the same, it is never the same. There is a work that has already been done in your life and all that you need to do is push to see it manifest. When Jesus gave the disciples the five loaf of bread and two fish, he told them to go ahead and distribute to the hungry crowd. And until they obeyed the instruction and went ahead sharing the five loaves and two fish, that is when they understood that it had been multiplied because they saw the people eating and they fed 5,000 men excluding the women and children and they gathered leftovers 12 baskets from just the 5 loaves of bread and 2 fish. Anything that you give over to God, anything that you place in the hands of God never comes back the same. It might look small, but it is never small. It might look like God has left your life in the same place, the same mess, the same situation, the same condition that you handed it over to him. But honey, this word is coming to assure you that your status change has already been approved. It might look like that business is failing. All that you have to do is be accountable to God, hand it over to him and then dare him. Keep doing it keep doing it lord i have given you this business i am expecting that a miracle is going to happen overnight but he tells you to keep working keep showing up at that job site even well, even though the promotion has not yet manifested keep showing up because anything small that is handed to god becomes much anything small that is handed to God becomes much never forget that your life might look like it is still experiencing the same things that it was experiencing before you gave it to God God says I should assure you I should assure you that your change has already been done it might look like nothing is changing about your life but there is more to it more to that business more to that relationship more to that job more to that marriage there is more and all you have to do is to let God have it and then to get involved. 
What has God asked you to do in this season? Keep showing up at that job site. Keep applying for the jobs. It might look like nothing is happening, but the multiplication is already taking place. The status change has already been approved. And as you keep doing it, as you keep showing up, you are going to see it manifest in your life. You're going to see it manifest in your life. Everything small, when handed over to God, becomes big. What are you letting go for God to take control of today? Is it your relationship? Is it your business? Is it your job? Is it your marriage? Is it your health? Whatever aspect of your life, as you hand it over to God today, I declare, everywhere you were experiencing insufficiency, begin to experience an overflow, and more than enough in the name of Jesus. Jesus. You are coming back with a testimony of what the Lord will do. You are coming back with a testimony of what the Lord will do. It might look like nothing is changing, but never forget that the moment it gets into the hands of God, the moment it gets into the hands of God, something must change about it. Small becomes great in the hands of God. That is something you should not forget. Small becomes great in the hands of God. Everything that was limited begins to experience an overflow when it is handed over to God. And from today, your life will begin to experience an overflow. You will begin to grow in that business. Your job will begin to experience promotion. Your life will begin to experience expansion in the mighty name of Jesus. God says it, I believe it, and I decree it over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you abundantly. Do not forget to like and share. If you're joining us for the first time, also subscribe. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next session. Shalom.